Have you ever submitted a warranty claim only to be surprised that it's denied? Generally, when a claim is denied, it's for one of two reasons. Either the product doesn't exhibit signs of failure, or the failure is not covered under warranty. There are several external factors that lead to product failure. Many of these, including improper installation, incorrect application, control circuit problems, or operator issues, are not covered under warranty. Let's look at the most common issues not covered by warranty, and how you may be able to prevent an issue before it arises. First are extra customer parts. When a nut, bolt, or any other foreign object drops into the starter or alternator during installation, it must be removed before the battery is connected, or the unit will fail. Corrosion or rust buildup on electrical connections will cause a high resistance connection, causing a high voltage drop. Next up, loose connections, which can melt insulators and loosen the stack up, causing the connection to overheat and or short to ground. Inspect for evidence of loose electrical connections, broken, stripped, and or cross-threaded terminals, arcing and burning present on washers, nut clamping surfaces, and terminal threads are signs of a loose connection. Next on the list are loose mounting lugs. Inspect for signs of loose mounting and vibration damage, such as elongated mounting holes Next on the list are loose belts or tensioners. When a pulley has heat discoloration, obvious by a distinctly blue coloring, and the alternator rotates freely, it's often a sign that there's a loose belt or defective tensioner. Environmental conditions are another reason for denied warranty claims. Inspect for unusual environmental conditions such as corrosion, dirt, oil, or other contamination. If the bridge or access holes are plugged, then the alternator is not cooling properly, which could result in overheating and premature failure. Improper installation is another reason for denied warranties. Hand tighten mounting bolts before applying torque. This helps eliminate binding and unwanted stress on the housing, which can break mounting flanges. Excessive torque can also cause this failure mode. Loose pulleys also lead to failure. Inspect for evidence of a loose pulley. Wear on the fan hub clamping surface or bearing race. Radial wear on a rotor shaft may also be visible. Overcrank also causes denied warranty claims. The cranking motor is designed for intermittent duty with a maximum of 30 seconds continuous cranking. Overcrank can be caused by cranking with low system voltage or engine control circuit problems. This may allow the engine to crank but not start. Solenoid solder connection reflow is another common symptom. It occurs when prolonged power is applied to the solenoid switch terminal in an attempt to start the engine. This failure can be caused by low system voltage and or pinion to ring gear tooth abutment. A severely milled or damaged drive pinion is evidence of engagement into a rotating ring gear. This condition can be caused by a control circuit problem external to the motor. If you have questions about any of these issues, call Remy Tech Support at 1-800-372-0222. In addition to tech support, visit us online at www.delcoremy.com.